how to add songs to Final Cut Pro if you're new or an expert. I'll share six beginner tips that are so good the pros still use them. Then I'll show you how to turn a three minute song into a 30 second version. And I'll share a one click trick for looping a song. All right, there's a few different ways you can add songs to Final Cut Pro. The first way is to go to File, Import, and select Media, or just press Command-I for the keyboard shortcut. Down here at the bottom, find your song that you want to import. Mine's on my desktop. Select it, and then decide. Do you want to add it to an existing event or create a new one? Then click Import. Another way is to use the music browser. Click up here for music browser and then select music. This will pull up your Apple Music library. You can search for a song here. We're gonna search for the Flowbots. This is a band I used to be in back in the early 2000s. I was the DJ for the Flowbots. I would provide the scratches and cuts. It was fun. You can preview a song by clicking this play button. Let's crash the house party. Knock, knock it. Please? It's me, the, the pony bee. bee. So hello, hello. Let's jump. <laughs> you can also skim it up here and move your playhead. Here's me scratching. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> you can also select playlist by clicking up here and narrowing down your music with playlist. Once you've found the song you want, you can select a section of it or select the whole thing and add it to your timeline. All right, another way to add it to Final Cut Pro is with Finder. So open a Finder window and go to your song and you can drag and drop it into the browser here or you can drag and drop it directly into your timeline and add it to your project. I'll just add it to the browser for right now. Sometimes when you import a song, it doesn't come through as music, it gets labeled as dialogue. So to change that, select your song and open up the inspector. If it's not open, click on this little button up here, these three sliders, and go to the bottom of the inspector and you'll see a couple waveforms and you'll see this spot where you can click on an arrow and select music. You can also use the shortcut Control Option M. All right, now it shows up as a song and when I edit and I have it in my timeline, it will show up in the right lane for song instead of dialogue. All right, there's a couple ways you can adjust the volume of your song. My favorite way is to select it and then use control with plus or minus to raise or lower the decibels one at a time. So I'll press minus and you can see that the volume's getting lower or I'll press plus and it's getting higher. There we go. I can also click and drag on this line down or up and if I hold command, I can do it one decibel at a time. In a little bit, I'll show you how to adjust the volume of one section of the song. You can also go to the inspector and adjust the volume using this slider here. You can also double click on the number, enter a new number, and then press return. You can also fade a song with these built-in fade handles. You'll notice them at the end of each song, this little circle. Just hover over until you get this two arrows pointing left and right, and then click and drag it and that will fade the song out. We can do the same at the beginning. We can fade it in. Okay, so many times you're gonna have a video clip of somebody talking with music behind it, and the music and the dialogue are conflicting. It's just too loud. The music's too loud and you can't hear the person talking. So we can do what's called ducking, audio ducking. I got this clip of me talking and some music behind it. Let's, let's hear it. Here are seven things I wish I knew five years ago about editing pictures in Final Cut Pro. I can't hear myself, right? The music's too loud. So what we can do is called audio ducking. I'll go to my tool pop-up menu and I'll select the range selection tool or just press R for a shortcut. Then I'll click and drag around the section of audio that I want to turn down. Now I can use control minus 
and bring that volume down. You'll see that it created four keyframes, these white dots. These are editable and I can move them around if I want. And I can delete them. Here's what it sounds like now. Here are seven things I wish I knew five years ago about editing pictures in Final Cut Pro. Sweet, I could hear myself talking, the music was in the background, it wasn't distracting. I love it. Are you loving this? Has this video been helpful so far? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find this video? Thanks. All right, let's say you have a three minute song, but you just need a 30 second version. I've got this sweet song here. I'll add to my timeline. And you can see it's about four minutes long and I want to trim it down to just about 30 seconds. And there's some singing in it too that I want to cut out. So the first step is to find out what parts I want to keep. Okay, that's good. All right, so that's when the beat comes in. I want to cut it right there. So let's zoom in to that area and I'll go back a little bit and play it again so I can get right on the beat. All right, it's right here. So I'll play, put my playhead there and I'll press Command B to cut it. Now I have two clips and I'm gonna scroll forward. I know I want to bring it back in somewhere around here. So I'll scroll forward and I want this section. I want to cut out all of this. So I'll play it again and find the beat when it comes back in. Right there, okay. Let's zoom in and play that back. I think it's this second sound wave here. Yep. So I'll put my playhead there and press Command B to cut it. And now I'll select the clip in between and delete it. I love editing audio in the magnetic timeline because you see how it just it moved that over immediately. All right, let's zoom in to our transition here. And let's, let's listen, let's see how it goes. It's pretty good, but it's off just a little bit. Here's a cool little trick we can do. Go to the transition browser and go to dissolves and add cross dissolve between the two clips. Now look at this, we can see our waveforms down here and we can look and see if they're lined up. I'm gonna change my waveform height just a little bit. There we go. Let's use this, just audio only. And now I can look and see my waveforms. I'll press T to bring up the trim tool and I can slide them back and forth. So I see this peak right here and I'm gonna line them up, these two right here. Okay, those look lined up. Let's listen to it now. That's pretty good, right? They sound like they're right on beat, but the audio dips down. So select the cross dissolve transition, go to the inspector and change fade in and out type to plus three decibels. And let's change ease amount to 100. All right, let's hear how that sounds. Perfect. Now I'll do the same thing to the rest of my song. Okay, so my song is down to around 40 seconds, but I want it a little bit shorter. I'm gonna trim off the end here, and then let's use the fade out that we saw earlier. All right, here's our whole song. It's just around 35 seconds.
Okay, so maybe now you have the opposite. You have a short song that you need to make longer. So let's loop a song. I'll add this to my timeline and let's play the first part back. Okay, so we know the beat starts right here. I'll select the clip and I'll move my playhead to right where the beat is and I'll press M for a marker. And then I'm gonna go to the end and find where the song last beat is. Looks like it's right there. Okay, so I'll do the same thing. I'll put my playhead there and press M for a marker. And now I'll hold down Option and I'll click and drag up to make a copy of the song. And now all I have to do is move it over and line up those markers. See that yellow line that came up? That's called a snap. And to make sure snap is on, press N. I've just turned it off, so now when I move it, it doesn't snap into place. But if I turn N back on and I move it, the markers line up and they snap into place. Let's fade the second part of the song in. There we go. And let's fade this part out. And let's hear the loop. Nice. And if I want it to go longer, just option, click and drag down to create a copy and then move it over until the markers match up. And now we've taken a 17 second loop and turned it into just over 45 seconds. And we can keep doing that and make our song as long as we want. So now you know how to add songs to Final Cut Pro. You know how to do the audio ducking so that your voice can be heard. You also know how to trim a song down or loop a song and make it longer. I made another video I think you'll really like called How to Edit Sound in Final Cut Pro. I go into depth on how to make your voiceovers and dialogue better, and I have some more tips on editing songs. Click here to check it out. Click, you'll like it, I promise.